culling. It happens every year on this game farm to keep antelope numbers under control. But during the coronavirus outbreak, unlike other years, none of this meat is sold for profit. It all goes to struggling families who live nearby. We cannot have access to, um, to what we have and then just around the corner, um, people through no fault of their own are going hungry. So it's actually an easy decision, it's the right thing to do. These Samaritans want to stay anonymous to avoid problems with the local authorities. The fear is that going through the proper channels would result in delays, political grandstanding or possible corruption. The game farmers in the north of the country donate the meat, which a local shop owner repackages at his own cost. We don't want any interference. We've been doing it for 20 years. We've stepped it up by doing meat at the moment. Um, we want to keep it sustainable. Uh, and we want to make sure that the food gets to where it's most needed. A local charity distributes the food to a nearby settlement. Many people are unemployed and those with casual jobs cannot work because of the COVID-19 restrictions. Lockdown has really given us a negative impact in terms of poverty. Most people now, they are really suffering. Each package contains some game meat and vegetables. It provides much needed help for this mother and her son who live on a government grant of just over $20 per month. This food parcel is very important for us to survive because we wouldn't have been able to without getting at least a bit of meat. As the lockdown drags on, the benefactors will keep going for as long as they can. <laughs> to date, the program feeds around 200 families, but every day the call for help continues to rise.